Hey everyone, Mango7Roll here. How we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7. And today we have a pretty big change to the Mystic schedule coming up. Like a pretty massive one. It's one that seems kind of innocent, you know? It looks very innocent, like it's not really uh, gonna do much or maybe means much in the grand scheme of things. Uh, but it has a pretty big impact on the game. And we'll talk about it in a second. We'll read it. Uh, first off, I want to show you the current Mystic schedule. We generally have um, four-week schedules for this. We have one new ML5 with one old ML5 or ML4. And then the next rotation, we have one old ML5 with one new ML4. And they've been going back and forth with this uh, four-week rotations. And uh, they're out of four stars to make Moonlight 4s, uh, new ones every however long so i kind of figured they'd be doing something soon i wasn't sure what but uh now we know if we open this up here we've got our new change so before the four star and five star uh hero rotation will refresh every four weeks now it's going every three weeks and they say we felt that the current schedule of four weeks was too long for players who had already obtained the featured moonlight hero with this in mind We've shortened the rotation cycle from four weeks to three weeks, allowing our players to uh, meet new Moonlight heroes more often. Translation. Um, we found that our whales don't even need to buy all the Mystic Packs anymore because four weeks is enough to really realistically get every single uh, Moonlight unit available and not even buy all the Mystic Packs. So instead, we're going to make those come out a little more often, uh, make sure those Mystic Packs sell once a month, and possibly add in new Mystic Packs. Uh, they're also... Moonlight Hero lineup reorganization here. So uh, the frequency at which the existing four-star Moonlight Heroes are offered in the Mystic rotation will be increased. The reorganize reorganization was made in consideration of the number of four-star heroes that do not have Moonlight form yet. New Moonlight four-star heroes will be added after the existing four-star Moonlight Heroes that have not been yet added to the rotation have been made available. So what this means is from this point out, we will not be getting any new ML four stars in the Mystic Summons, and instead we will be getting reruns of old ones until they are all done. And at that point, we will be getting new ML fours supposedly at that uh, time. We don't really know for sure, but that's kind of what they hint at here. So um, this is interesting for sure, and there's a lot of reasons why. Um. The main thing is right now, I want to take a look at the events. Uh, I actually couldn't find a better way to show this. I, I actually couldn't find anywhere else that had this information like somewhat readily available. And this is on epic7x.com and these are past events. I couldn't actually find uh, the Moonlight versions of this to know which Mystic Summons we've had. But this is the list of banners we have gotten. So this is non-ML units. And I just kind of want to look at these units here to see how often we get new units versus new Moonlights. Because we get a new Moonlight 5-star every... Um, wow, 4 plus 4. How many is that, Mango? That's 8. Uh, we get one every 8 weeks or so. Is that right? Uh, so a, a new Moonlight 5 star 8 weeks that the vast majority of people aren't going to get and are generally PvP focused with very niche uses that are specialized and um, irreplaceable. So uh, that's something really important to consider. And then as for our new units here, we have uh, Dizzy, we've already had Destina, Baiken, uh, Events, Melissa... I think this was the rerun of Melissa, so that's not new. Luluka, Heron, Krau, um, Rowana. So our last new unit was April 9th, and it is now January, February, March, April, May 8th. So the last unit was four weeks ago, which is approximately the amount of time it will take us to see a new unit with an ML5. Before that, we have uh, Kisei, Lilius, Iseria, Tenebria, Vivian... Powerick, May 12th, or March 12th, so that's another month behind. So um, one a month so far is what we've been getting. We then got uh, Cerise, which is a limited banner. I kind of keep those a little bit separate because they act somewhat differently in the rotation. But uh, in essence, that's a week or two, um, two weeks before the Cowerick. Before that, we have Lilibet, uh, Lydica, Basar, 
Sermia and Pavel on January 30th, which is a little under a month from uh, the one before, not including the uh, not including the new um, the limited, the limited. Then we have uh, who else here? Bologna, Euphine, Charles, Alencia. This is the second, so again another month before we saw a new unit. So we can see they're going essentially by a month for new stuff. Crowds yen. Uh, Violet, Elena, this is another month on the 5th. We have um, Ravi, Basar, Melissa on the 7th. So again, just around another month. So we can see here pretty consistently, we are getting new units once every month. Uh, and let's go back a little bit more. And uh, I guess it's kind of hard to see. I wanted to see like how fast we got new units before versus uh versus now but it's kind of hard to see so let's go back into the game now and take a look at the uh the mystics that we've been getting recently so if we look at the ml5 stars here we've got a bunch of new ones like we all know these ones right oh and cecilia a vildra dark corvus a ravi spectre geneva martial artist ken you see these literally everywhere they they are essentially in every team now. Like, they are everywhere. Royal of Light, Judge Kise even, Little Queen Charlotte, uh, SBS is one that's not so much, Ambition Tywin, not so much. Lydica is everywhere now. May Chloe's everywhere. But Desert Char Desert Duo Basar is everywhere. Says is great on offense. Araminta you see on offense now, too. You see them everywhere. But now let's look at the newer non-ML5s. And, like, this is where it kind of scares me. Like, we've got Cowric here. I don't even remember fighting a Cowric at this point. We got Pavel. Same thing. I don't remember uh, ever fighting Pavel. Cerise is a little different because she's limited, so I'm not going to really talk about her. Um, who else have we got recently? Rowana. Rowana is somebody who has somewhat shown up, but not in higher-end PvP, uh, which we'll see in a second. Uh, Alensi is one that's actually doing pretty well. So honestly, recently we've been getting a decent amount of good uh, RGB units as opposed to ML5s. But ML5s are just dominating. They are just absolutely ridiculously dominating all of the things. Uh, and we'll look at the total ranking here. We have uh, Ruel, Judge Kise, FCC. So there's two out of four on the first. Uh, there are three out of four on the second. 2 out of 4, uh, 2 out of 4, 1 out of 4, look at this guy right here. Uh, 1, two, 2 out of 4 there, 3 out of 4, um, 0 out of 4 there. Uh, but what you can see here is look at all these ML5s that are very, 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 very important and useful and needed to really jump through the ranks for the most part. Obviously, you can do it without, but it's obviously going to be easier with. And we barely see any of the um, the newer units here. I actually saw a couple Rowanas. Usually they're sitting in the lower end of the top 100. I don't usually see too many of them. We see a couple Alencias too. But in general, uh, we don't really see anything when it comes to the RGB. So this is what kind of terrifies me. Because as a, a lot of people think I'm a hardcore whale, I, I haven't actively spent money in this game. Not that I'm trying to like be proud about it. It's just the the truth. I haven't actively spent money outside of this monthly pack for about a year now, I would say. Maybe a little less than a year, but pretty close. And when I did spend, it was for uh, like a smaller pack. Um, and I haven't kept the monthly pack up the whole time either. So for myself, it's basically not possible for me to be getting the ML5 units. And that's okay. It's okay not to get every unit. That's part of being in a gacha game. But um, when when they when they continuously start releasing the units that are this good and this specialized as ML fives, and then they realize all the whales are getting them already. Like I, I've talked to a, a bunch of medium to big spenders, and they literally don't have to buy the Mystic packs every single month because with the new rotations and the old rotations, they just have everything at this point. So realistically, they only need to get one uh, ML5 um, two months now, one every two months because they have the one in between. And uh, unless they hit pity basically every single time and they they run into a rerun like uh, Valence's on or somebody or like Ruel that they don't have, 
that uh, they, they will have to spin. And that's about it. So that's that's a weird place to be in where even the most sought after things aren't necessarily uh, being super hardcore purchased for even from the, the whales and big spenders and even medium spenders. So I think that's one of the main reasons we saw this is this right here. So um, that is kind of worrying to me because... It's, it's okay for me to go to three-week schedules. Yes, it's harder for people like me and people like you, a, a lot of the free-to-play players, to get new units, but that's always been semi-okay for me. It's just the fact that it's done in this way. Like, it just seems like a weird decision to make, but obviously not weird because we know why they did it. Uh, but yeah, that's all I wanted to really talk about today is kind of see how I feel about this. And I wasn't sure how I felt about this until I started talking today, which is why I like making videos like this, because I can talk through my emotions and my thoughts uh, with you folks here. So, uh, new ML4s not coming for a while tells me one thing, and I think that is we're going to be getting a batch of four stars soon. Um, so I, I need to look at how many four star ML4s haven't been in the rotation yet like haven't been in the uh shadow rose spot right here but um i would say whenever we're through all of those ml4s we will have a new batch of four star units from the next episode or something like that that's my prediction um and then they can start doing ml4s of those maybe one every three months or nine weeks now instead of six just to uh keep it viable um but to me, it seems like they're pushing out ML5s more than normal units now, which is not something that feels okay. I've always thought of ML5s as like a rarity and something that's added every now and then, but it feels like these are more or as consistent as RGB units to me, which just feels awkward um, since they are really heavily gated behind uh, pay to win stuff. Um, but again, this is a gacha game. We we can't really complain. I mean, we can and we will, but it's a gacha game. We can't really expect too much. So uh, thank you so much for watching this. If you stayed through this long, I'm sorry. I, I don't know if this was a rant or a rave or whatever. I just kind of wanted to talk about the situation and why they changed this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd really like to hear. So have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always. Bye, everybody.